Stand them. Fuck these FPS drops. Hey everyone, Nick Slad here, and today I will be sharing with you my opinionated guide as to how to squeeze as much performance as possible out of Star Citizen, as of patch 3.13.1. I don't seek to argue or attempt to justify every single procedure in this guide with a billion tests and charts. I just want to compile everything that players, including me, have worked for them into one definitive guide. I am 100% open to feedback and discourse, so feel free to discuss it in the comments below, and I could add it to this guide. Star Citizen is notoriously difficult to run, but these issues aren't necessarily your rig's fault. The evidence points to the fact that this lag is server-side, due to a lack of network optimizations. A modicum of this evidence is that if you're lucky enough to find servers with 40 people or less, it will consistently run at a considerably higher FPS than full servers. You can increase your chances of this happening and being assigned a fresher server by entering a party with others prior to joining a game. Upgrading your PC may in increase performance significantly depending on your initial specifications, but the improvements plateau out significantly. If you have a mid to high end build, especially. The most significant specifications in my opinion are your storage drive, your memory, and your CPU. I'd argue that an SSD is almost required to play this game due to the long loading times and horrible performance on mechanical drives. Also, going into any other module than the PU will run exponentially better. These issues are server-side, and my frame rate has improved by a couple frames after each passing patch that CIG optimizes the game. For more information about how your computer performs relative to others in the verse, check out CIG's telemetry page. It offers some perspective regarding your frame rate and clearly shows that upgrading your PC will only offer slight performance increments unless you're running the game on a potato anyways. Here are my specifications. CIG developed their own guide to frame rate issues, but it is pretty incomplete and vague, but I will be linking it in the description. I'm not telling you to get better components, but an SSD is pretty much required. 16 gigabytes of RAM is starting to struggle, so 32 gigabytes or more is an ideal amount. A CPU with at least four cores is also the minimum. Turn off all overlays, including the Xbox game bar. Search Game Bar in the Start menu and turn off anything relating to it. Turn off Game DVR and Windows 10 gaming settings as well, and if you have GeForce Experience, turn off the overlay. Go to the Start menu, type Graphic Settings, toggle Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling on, add Star Citizen and the RSI launcher executables that you just configured, set them to high performance. Search Control pan Panel in your Start menu, View by Small Icons, and select Power Options, set to High Performance. Something that many people, including me, have had luck with is setting a Windows page file. This can offload some of the work of your memory into a cache on your SSD. To do this, go to View Advanced System Settings in your Start menu search, go to the Advanced tab, select Settings under Performance, go to another Advanced tab, and click Change under Virtual menu Memory. Select your SSD, the, specifically the one you have Star Citizen on, and set a custom size of one and a half times your RAM to roughly twice the size of your RAM to be safe. You could play around with this, but whatever you do, do not select no page file, and don't set anything to zero. This can blue screen your PC. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, and I set mine to 25,000 megabytes to around 7,000 megabytes. This isn't exactly one 1.5 times to 2 times my RAM, but I've played around with this and I found that this works the best for me. The above ratio is just to be safe and find a good starting point. Click Apply, OK, and OK twice more, and restart your computer. Updating drivers is important, but I've never had it improve frame rates in any of the games I play. I take the integrity of this step with a grain of salt, but everyone says to do it, so I just do it to make sure we're all on the same page. When I play Star Citizen, I close everything except for my chat software and Microsoft Edge with a tab of video I want to watch. I don't use Microsoft Edge unless it's watching a video while playing Star Citizen. I have my primary browser closed while playing Star Citizen, as well as any other unnecessary processes on my computer. After installing Star Citizen on an SSD, navigate to the install directory and find the Star Citizen executable in Robert Space Industries 
slash star system slash live slash bin directory. Right click on star system exe and click the compatibility tab. Toggle disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator on under settings and apply and exit. Repeat this process with the RSI launcher executable found in your install directory for the launcher. Star Citizen allows for custom config files for game related variables. I have two of these files I swap between, but you only need one of the two. I have one file that is a stable set of settings that I use daily and another experimental file that might increase performance a little bit more at the cost of stability or significant quality increases. Download one of these files from the links below and save it to your live directory as user.cfg. This will enable the console in game as well as an informative overlay detailing FPS, CPU, GPU, and network performance. If you don't want this on, the CFG also turns on the console at startup allowing you to disable this. To do so, press the tilde key and type r underscore display info equals zero and press enter. If you don't want to do this every time you start the game, simply remove that line from the user.cfg file that you chose. I hope you chose the stability version because that one works the best in my experience. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, right click your desktop and select NVIDIA control panel. Go to manage 3D settings options under display, select the program settings tab and add, and then click the add button. Add your starcitizen.exe file and adjust the settings accordingly. Anisotropic filtering equals off, anti-aliasing gamma correction off, low latency mode on, CUDA GPUs, set this to your primary graphics card, power management mode, prefer maximum performance, texture filtering, anisotropic sample optimization on, thread optimization on, and vertical sync off. Save, apply, exit. In-game, the graphics settings can be adjusted accordingly. Resolution, your native res resolution depending on what you use. Window mode, borderless. Quality, very high. The lower the graphics setting, the higher the CPU usage, and the higher the graphics setting, the higher the GPU usage. I usually set this to very high, but uh, some note more luck with the high option. But generally, increasing this setting increases frame rate. Motion blur, off. Vertical sync, no. Chromatic aberration, zero. Film grain, no. And save and exit. Something that a lot of people recommend is increasing CPU pri priority of Star Citizen under the Details tab of the Task Manager to high. This is a great tip and it does help performance, but you have to do this every single time you boot the game. What I do instead is I install an application called Process Lasso. This is an alternative task manager that could save CPU priorities, and it could run at Windows 10 startup. I'll link it below, and once you start it up, right-click starsystem.exe in this footage I'm right-clicking Discord, select CPU priority, then always, and set it to high. Run process lasso in the background while you play, and set it to run at boot. A bit of an unstable solution is overclocking. I have decided to take the risk and overclock my CPU and RAM. This gained me about 5 FPS roughly, but for a few days my system blue screened despite the, my, the adequate cooling I had in my computer. I will post my clock settings from my MSI Afterburner on screen, but I will not be offering an overclocking guide as this is out of the scope for this guide. Do your research, don't take risks, play it safe. As a final tip before or afterward, if the server you are in has terrible performance no matter what, it's most likely been up for a while and it will have a 30k error soon. Most of the players on the server are probably having the same performance issues as you on that server, so the best thing to do is just server hop. I'm no expert on this, but I did want to assemble everything I learned in improving performance in Star System. If you have any questions or find an issue with this, please contact me and leave a comment below. I can make appropriate edits and answer questions. Hope this helps. Have a great day, guys, and see you next time.